Hello everyone, so today we'll be analyzing the difference between how mocks are generated using Redis in a traditional way and how can we ease the process of mock generation using Deploy. So in order to integrate Redis into your application, you have to write a function that connects the Redis server to your application. And then in order to generate mocks, you have to write a file by importing mini Redis and maintaining it. But that's too much of work. Let's reduce the number of tasks by using Deploy and automating the mock generation process. So I'm using this URL shorter application and have integrated Redis to it. I've also written a function that connects the Redis server to the application. In addition to it, we have a main test.go file, which is responsible for recording all of the test cases and generating mocks from the API calls that we make. So what I'll do, I'll simply export the Keploy mode to record. And now that Kepler server is running in the background, I'll simply run the application. I have received Pong as a response, which indicates that the Redis server is connected to the application. We'll make few API calls. First a post request and then a catch request to verify the shortened URL that we have received. Now let's see if Kepler has actually recorded the test cases from the API calls that we made. So here we can see that the test cases are recorded and the mocks are generated. In order to see the files here inside the Kepler directory, we can see the mock files and the mock folder in test cases recorded under the test folder. Now let's see the real magic by stopping the server, the application and the data server, and we'll see if we'll be able to do the test runs. So I'll set the Kepler mode to test. and do the test run. Okay, so here we are getting a 53.1% of coverage, but we'll see if after stopping the data server, are we able to do the test runs? Yes, as we can see that those test cases, are record, those recorded test cases, we have it inside the test runs. And now you do not require any external dependencies like Redis uh, to talk to your client because Kiploy is automating all of the processes in between the client and the external dependencies. Let's see if inside the test reports, we have got the YAML file, which has the test run. So here we can see that all of the details re uh, related to the recorded test cases and mock is present. So that's it from my end. Hope you got a clear idea of uh, how to use Kiploy using the external dependencies. Thank you.